this video we will explain the differences between three important CSS display properties inline, block and inline block. By the end of this tutorial you will understand when to use them and how they affect the layout of your elements. First we have display inline. This is like how text works in paragraphs. Elements stay next to each other in one line. These two span elements are inline. They are displayed side by side. We cannot set width and height of inline elements. They always have the same size as their content. If we add enough inline elements in the same row, so they exceed the size of the row, they will wrap to the next row automatically. Have a look at the browser to understand what I mean. Next we have display block. Block elements are like boxes. They take up the whole width and push other elements elements to the next line. Do you see how those elements are stacked one below the other? That's what display block does. It also lets you control the width and height. Let's set the size of the elements and have a look. The first container will get a width of 300 pixels and a height of 300 pixels as well. For the second container we go for a width of 400 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. Have a look at the browser. The two containers are in separate rows. Finally there's inline block. It's a mix of both. Elements stay next to each other like inline, but you can also control their width and height, like block. It's a good choice when you want control over the size of the elements, but still want the elements to be in the same row. Let's demonstrate this by changing the height of the first container to 100 pixels and take a look at the browser again. The elements are still displayed in the same line. Okay, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you liked it and learned a lot. Make sure to hit the like button to support my work. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Have a great day and see you in the next one.